Hey, I'm Master Jiso, and welcome to the C4 Academy Episode 2. Today we're going to go against Kuroki, also known as the Artist. Also known as the hardest boss in the game, at least the former harder boss, but more on that later. If you are here today, it's probably because that woman terrorized you, she made you her bitch, and she made you hate women, in general. And today we're going to learn exactly why. She isn't that bad, she's actually waifu material, to be honest. And before we begin, a like on this video would be very appreciated, that way we can make sure she does not get to terrorize more of us, more our brothers and sisters. So, with that out of the way, the skills we're going to be using today and which are very useful against Kuroki are Snap Kick and Crutch Punch. With that said, let's go. I have the feeling that Kuroki got nerfed in the master difficulty, especially in her first phase. Her second phase definitely got improved, but her, the first one is... I don't know, it seems easier. And I'll tell you why. To fight Kuroki effectively in her first phase, you need to learn her move. Her moves. You have to. You can rely on running around and waiting for her to be done with her combos, but the fight will be very long and if you're here you probably want to do that fight to perfection you want to get the hang of her you want to even you know set up a date later and go chill somewhere so we're going to learn about the moves and once you actually learn the moves she becomes way way easier my very first advice when fighting kuroki is to never underestimate her range don't ever think she's too far to reach you because most of the time you're going to get caught because she doesn't attack randomly even if she starts far away she knows she's going to close the gap the way she moves forward all right so be always ready to parry her first attack because the problem with kuroki is that you never know which move she's going to go for that's why you always want to be on the lookout and you always want to be parrying or blocking until you understand which move she's going to go for so Let's talk about those moves. The first combo string you want to get used to is a fall mid combo string. It's a mid, mid, high mid. It's a mix of high and mids, but dodging, dodging mid or high will get you out of it. And it's one of the moves she does the most. And it's pretty easy to see. It's pretty easy to see when she goes for it. And for the starter, it can look like she's going to go for a low. So I would advise just parrying until you see exactly which move she's going to go for, and you'll be fine. The second move is a mid low low mid combo string, and it's you can easily see it coming because it, she spins she spins around before she starts and the first move the first hit is always a mid so it's a mid low low mid combo sometimes she can follow up but it uh, it happens so it's unusual i will talk about it later but it's a combo you want to see coming this one string is my favorite and uh, it's a low, high, low, high combo with potential for a follow up if, if she hits you. So, she starts up with a low, follows up with a high, goes for another low, and finishes with a high. And if she hits you, she's going to go in another combo. And when that happens, when you don't dodge the last high, you want it to, to be ready to just parry. She usually loves doing that one combo when she's far away and she quickly catches up to you. That's why you don't want to underestimate her range. Even if you think you're not close to her, try to dodge or parry that move, that combo string, because it can be very, very damaging and it messes with your head. But there is potential to severely you know, punish her and we're going to see how later right now it's all about getting used to the moves she uses the most that way we can easily capitalize on that the last move she uses the most and she is not a starter that move she can use pretty much every time it's a high high low combo 
and you can see it coming pretty easily you can see the animation when it feels like she's she's spinning around right but she doesn't go completely and then you have to be ready to dodge high and low the the hardest thing right here is just not to confuse up and down when you want to just avoid that sometimes she will follow up with a high but that happens mostly when she hates you but if you can punish if you can punish that move that's that last low you can you can actually damage her and that's what we are going to do And lastly, there is that one move where she spins her blades around and chases you like a mad woman. And for that move in particular, I will recommend just pairing. Just, just smashing your block button should do it. The timing isn't as... In my experience, the timing isn't as, you know, point, point accurate as if you wanted to dodge. It. Because most of the time when I try to dodge it, I get hit and I get cheap damage. So, you want to parry that and there is a... You can tell, you can kind of tell when she's going to go for it because she, she flips backwards and to get some distance away from you so that she can chase you. But that move has, she has many ways to close, to end that combo. She can, and that, most, most of the time, all the moves we previously saw up until now are the ones she's going to use as a full up attack. And if you can master you know, avoiding getting hit, with the previous combo strings, you will just fine with that one. But you just want to be... Just be ready to parry. I think parrying works best in this case than trying to dodge. But it comes down to personal preference and what you can... What works for you. So, that's it. Now let's see how we can actually punish her and when it's safe to do so. For most of the combos, you can actually punish Kuroki when you dodge the last hit of the combo string. So right here, when you dodge the high, you're good to go, the last high. So here, when you successfully dodge, you know, that low, that one, that's when you can actually punish her. The faster, the better before she actually starts, you know, another, another combo. This one is my favorite because it has potential to massively stun her if you do it right. And this is where we're going to use snap kick and crutch punch. But it is kind of tricky. So dodging that last move, you know, that high move she does at the end of the combo is enough to stun her. Not stun her, but to punish her. And it's up to you to decide how you want to punish her. But we're going to maximize on damage here. We want the fight to be over quick so that we can get to the second phase. I mean, the real phase. So, we're going to use Snap Kick. And the reason why we want to use Snap Kick is because that move is really good when someone is going for a sweep or low. Depends on the low, it's very situational, but most of the time, it's the, if it's a sweep and that attack, that attack from Kuroki, it's, it's, it's very sweep-like, right? So, what you want to do is, because you don't know which strings is going to go for, you normally would parry or dodge the first hit, right? That first low. But when you know, when you actually know, oh, that's that one combo she's going for, you're going to input snap kick when she's going for the sweep. You know, that low she's going to go for, that's when you input the snap kick. And it's going to make you go over that sweep. But that's not that's that, that's not it because the following attack is going to be high, and that's when we're going to use crouch punch because crouch punch is a very effective move, and it's like a ducking move, right? You duck under an attack. It there are many more moves in the game you can punish that way, but right there you duck under her attack and you punish her. So you input crouch punch, which is forward forward square, but then after that you input triangle heavy attack that way you can maximize on the damage there so once again you go there you input snap kick and then when you there don't wait because the follow-up attack is going to go to come as soon as soon as possible when it comes what do you do snap kick and then crouch punch heavy attack if you do that successfully trust me the fight will be over before you before you even notice it and you it actually looks very cool
When it comes to that combo, it is really hard to punish. You better off just dodging the last move and, you know, be ready for the next one. You could probably input, you know, Crouch Punch the moment you dodge the last mid, but the fact that she leaks backwards like that, it means she she's get, you know, she gets away from you, so there's not really much you can do, for now at least. Now we are in the second phase, and this is where Crouch Punch is going to carry us all the way. Kuroki's mix-up in her second phase is really hard to handle. That's why we're going to use Crouch Punch to interrupt her so that we don't have to deal with her bullshit. So, what we need to do is input... You have to input Crouch Punch, which again is forward forward light the moment you see her attack. It's very important to do so the moment she goes for an attack, otherwise you will get hit and you will get caught in the, you know, in her combo string and it's a, it's, a real, it's a real pain in the ass to actually figure out what she's going to do so unless you're really really good at pairing and you know seeing that leap attack she's about to do you are in trouble the one thing you have to keep in mind for that technique to actually work is that as long as she she doesn't flip back like he doesn't she doesn't do the backflip and goes in the air to start to to start throwing her kunais be always ready for because she's going to come back you know she's going to come back for you so what you want to do is you do cold punch right and then she goes backwards she, she's like jumping back but she's going to come again so be ready to do another cold punch and then another one until she finally backflips you know somewhere you know, on the field and then goes in the air then that's it you can breathe she's going to come back and you just you just do that again and again in between those phases, you can catch her kunais, which you can throw back at her to damage her, and you should... That phase is actually very easy now. The other issue in this phase is the fact that she can fake her dashes. Those supersonic, you know, high-speed dashes she does. But I figured it only works when you panic, right? So. If from the start you assume when she goes in that stance she's going to you know she's going to dash, your reflex is going to be to dodge, right? But if she ends up faking you, what we you know we have monkey brains, so when we see that we start panicking, like oh my god, we're so dead, and we start dodging erratically. But if you actually stay composed, I've 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 witnessed it, you know, I tried it, and every time you stay calm, right? You have enough time to actually see it coming. It's not that fast, right? Even when she dashes and, you know, fakes you out, you have enough time to react to it. It's the panic. I'm telling you, it's the panic which is killing us. It's not Kuroki. It's because when we get faked, we automatically go in panic mode. But trust me, assume she's not going to fake and you're going to dash the first time. But if she ends up faking, just dash, a sec just dodge a second time. Don't start dodging six times in a row. You're going to get, you're going, you're going to get fucked. Let's be, let's be honest. So, Kuroki isn't hard. Looking back, yeah, I wasn't ready to fight her, but now I feel like not only is her first phase way more manageable, but now with Crouch Punch, you can actually pretty much stop her from doing that mix-up, and now. Yes, the fight is going to take so it's going to take a while because she goes back a lot. But also now you're safe because the mix-up was actually the problem. She could she could sweep, she could leap, she could just relentlessly attack you. But now we don't have to deal with all of those shit. Nah, we say what we say. Nah, nah, nah. We end dying today. We get into the tower. No zero death. Don't just don't don't panic. See right here. Don't panic. That's it. That, that, that's it right there. Don't have to panic. This concludes today's session. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you get the better of her. She is really cute, but she is not that she is, she is not that bad. Arguably, I think now Fajal might be actually harder than Kuroki. But next time we're going to go over Yang and maybe we'll see if he's a real king now. Again, it's all about practice. I hope you do well and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, Jan. Go kick some ass.